know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been told. But Justin Bieber's getting old. But Justin Bieber's getting old. Same with Cody Simpson. Same with Cody Simpson. There are four beats in our name. There are four beats in our name. Danielle and Eddie Show. Danielle and Eddie Show. Danielle and Eddie Show. Danielle and Eddie Show. Yeah, man. My name's Danielle. My name is Eddie. And could you please introduce yourself? My name's Farley. So what do you look for in someone that is singing? Well, what, what I actually look for is um, something unique. So, you know, when, I, when you use the word artist, I think it gets word used very loosely. But art is when you have your own interpretation of something and you share it with others. So uh, when I look for singers, uh, I look for what unique element. On top of just a, a good amount of quality, I look for unique elements in their voice or in their style or the way they phrase the lyrics or whatever it is to make sure that they stand out. Because the last thing you want to do is be a version of someone else. What has been your highlight so far? Okay, the highlight for me on Canadian Idol was traveling across our great country and meeting all kinds of amazing people who had dreams, just like you guys. What is your involvement in the Canadian Music Week? I've been on a board, of, I'm on a few different industry boards of, over the course of my career I have been, and I'm still on the board of something called Much Fact, which is the funding body that represents Much Music, and we provide uh, grants for independent artists for video, web, what are called EPKs, which is an electronic press kit, right, and viral videos. What has been the favorite place that you have been at? The fa my favorite place in the world? Um, I would have to say that would be, in Canada, my favorite place is Newfoundland, right? But in the world, my favorite place would be Ghana, South, Ga Ghana, South Africa, uh, and Malawi. What would you be doing now if you, if you had not been a judge on Canadian Idol? I'd probably be an anthropologist or a teacher. Did you always want to be on TV? No, I, I didn't ever really have any dreams of being on TV. I, I was hired for Canadian Idol based on what I do off, off of TV. I manage recording artists and I have a record label and I've been involved in radio and so forth. So the TV show was really a visual version of what I do in my office every day. So I figured no big deal, plus the money was pretty good. How did you get started? I got started, uh, I would say, really, when I was 15 years old, I started my company, with, and it's now called Plasma Management and Productions, uh, but originally it was called Full Flex Management, and I started off doing concert, um, well, parties, then dance competitions, then concerts, then I got into managing recording artists, then I got into uh, radio, then I got in, I was fortunate enough to be asked to do Canadian Idol, and uh, so that was television, now I'm producing television, and shows and all sorts of stuff. So how do you like producing TV shows? Well, I love it because it, TV is like anything else. It gives people a chance to showcase their talents, and that's really the foundation of my interest is showcasing, helping other people showcase their talent, just like right now. Did you want to do something different in school? No, I was uh, one of the students that, um, I was a good student, I really liked math, so I went to university and I was going to be an accountant, but that was kind of boring, and then I decided to up my, the excitement and do finance, which is how money works, and uh, it was during that time I'd already started in the entertainment business, so I married all of my mathematical interests into entertainment, which is another love that I have, and uh, ended up here today talking to you. So we would like to thank you so much for letting us interview you. And I'd like to thank you for interviewing me. And what you so it's Daniel and Danielle and Eddie. Awesome. Good job. So listen, if you guys want to check out some really good interview skills, you need to check out Daniel and Eddie, the D and E project.